Guys, I paid nearly three digits for a membership I used about five times. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some of the mistakes I have made at medical school so you don't have to. When I tell you guys, I literally lived on chicken nuggets and chips for the whole of first term. Guys, don't do it. Now, this one might be a bit controversial, but before I even say it, I said what I said. I said what I said and what I said is what I said. I said what I said and, and I'm not changing up. Hello everyone and welcome back to Journey to Med. In today's video I'm going to be discussing some of the mistakes I have made at medical school so you don't have to. Before we get started, if you guys are new here, my name is Hazal and I'm a second year medical student studying at Bart Centre London but with that being said, let's get on with the video. So the first mistake I made was <clears throat> listening to everything everyone said and not taking it with a pinch of salt. For example, people would say it's best to type up your notes, get a laptop, I got a laptop. People said use Anki, it's the best way to revise. Started using Anki, but it wasn't for me. I literally listened to all the advice I got because I thought everyone knows what they're doing. So if I copy what they're doing, I will be on the right track too. But that is not the truth. That is not correct. Not every single piece of advice needs to be taken on board and taken so practically. This leads me nicely to my second mistake, which was seeing that something wasn't working, but not changing it. Let me explain. So like I said, at the start of university, I got a laptop and I just started typing up my notes because that's what I thought everyone did. I could tell that typing up my notes wasn't helping me, but because I didn't know what else I could do, I just kind of stuck with it and didn't really make an effort to change it at the start, but I just wish that I started making an effort to explore different learning methods earlier than I did because then I would have found the one that fit me earlier, if that makes sense. But what I strongly recommend you guys do is go on YouTube, watch different people's videos and see how they revise and take inspiration from it and apply it to your own revision method. Whether that's typing up your notes on a laptop, whether that's making notes on an iPad or even handwritten notes on paper, everyone learns differently and and that is okay. So lads, before I continue, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to scroll down and click that red button down below to subscribe to the Journey to Med channel. Go on, I'll wait. Have you subscribed? All right, let's move on. The third mistake that I made was letting myself get too overwhelmed. The new environment, living out for the first time, not having a specification, not knowing how my exams were, not knowing how I was going to revise, not knowing what food I was going to make. All these things made me so overwhelmed and so stressed and actually led to a few breakdowns here and there. But I promise you, over time, things became clearer. And what you need to remember is every single person in your year group is going through what you are going through. So if I got through it, you can too. Just go with the flow, keep on top of your work, make sure you are eating well and having a work-life balance where you can and you will be fine. Now going on to my fourth mistake, which was not making an effort to network earlier. With everything that was going on at the start of first year, I didn't really make an effort to network and get to know many people. However, when I did start making an effort, it was the best decision I ever made. I met so many different people who are studying medicine, but who are also doing other courses. And it's just nice to meet new people and have a chat and discover all the things you are interested in. So guys, I would honestly recommend it so, so much. <sighs> This one, it's not the one. Guys, don't do it. My next mistake was letting lectures drag on to the next week. Oh my gosh. Oh hell no! Catch up 
is the devil so make sure you avoid it avoid it avoid it whenever you can honestly guys catch up leads to such an overwhelming feeling and the best way to avoid this is make sure you get your lectures from that week done in that week don't say oh i'll do it next week monday next week tuesday no and i oh so I would always prioritize that week's work and make sure I got that done. And then all the other things I wanted to do, like go out with my friends, I don't know, go watch a movie. Of course, this isn't always possible. And sometimes you do need a break and your lecture will run on to the next week, but do try and avoid it where you can. This one is actually kind of embarrassing. My next mistake is food just food in general when i tell you guys i literally lived on chicken nuggets and chips for the whole of first term are you not ashamed of yourself are you not embarrassed this is really embarrassing when you eat so much junk food over and over and over again it actually reflects on your energy levels and it's not the one i know it's easy you can just whip it out the freezer dash it in the oven and it's ready but guys it's not worth it it's an easy and quick meal to have sometimes sometimes but not all the time don't underestimate the power of nice and healthy meals so what i would suggest is just go onto youtube and find easy five minute meals that you can make with real ingredients and that are actually healthy and this will dramatically improve your energy levels and also how you feel so if you can make sure you do implement this into your weekly routine at university my seventh mistake was being scared to ask for help. I know as medical students, we're all like, yeah, we know everything. We don't need to ask for help. And we all have pride, so we're actually like scared to ask for help. But guys, just drop your pride. And if you need help, just ask for it. You can ask your classmates, you can ask your lecturers, you can ask students in the years above. Trust me, if you ask for the help, they will actually provide it to you and it will just make everything you're learning so much clearer and so much easier. So if you do need help, just ask for it and it's going to lift such a big weight off your chest. Now this one might be a bit controversial, but before I even say it, I said what I said. I said what I said and what I said is what I said. I said what I said. As and always. I'm not changing up. Okay, my eighth mistake was using a paper planner. Before you all come and attack me, let me explain. I don't know about you guys, but I thought I was cute and I went to purchase a little A5 pink planner that had a little quote on it and it was just nice and cute to look at, but for me, it wasn't functional. Everyone is different and paper planners might work for you, but for me, it just wasn't it. The medical timetable always changes. I always had to cross out something, move something from Monday to Tuesday, and it just made my planner look so, so messy. However, when I started planning my week on my notes page, and now I actually plan it on Notion, it's just so much easier. I can move anything when I want. I can edit anything when I want. I can have my timetable on all my devices instead of one piece of paper that I can just lose. And it just makes my life 200% easier. So if you guys have found that paper planners aren't working for you, come over to the digital planner side and you won't regret it. Okay, now going to my last mistake, which probably is the biggest mistake I've made in first year. <laughs> oh my gosh it's such a joke and that is buying a gym membership guys i paid nearly three digits for a membership i used about five times <laughs> so my advice would be don't waste your money on major expenses if you know you're not going to use it but with that being said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Today has just shown me how much of a mess first year was. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And also follow us on Instagram at journey.2.med to see what we're getting up to. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to comment it down below. But I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys in a new video next week. Bye.